Today we're gonna customize this helmet so it looks much more at home on the Forest Moons Vendor than it does in the Pro Peloton. That's true, definitely not gonna fit there. And shout out Competitive Cyclist for sponsoring this week's video. It should come as no surprise that I'm a fan of fantasy and sci-fi. The biggest draw for me has gotta be the visual component. And one that rises above the pack has gotta be Star Wars. And there's one specific reason why. Is that they show things that have life, that have been used, that are kind of beat up. Like the real world. And they're always wearing helmets. So I figured, why not make my helmet look like one of their helmets? I'm gonna sand it up, give it a little tooth, then I'll clean it up with rubbing alcohol. Then I'm gonna hit it with some rust colored primer so when I scuff it up, it looks a little older. Hmm? So we were watching the book of Boba Fett and I realized that his helmet has some silver underneath the paint. Look at the size of this thing. Okay, well, truth be told, maybe I'm a little nervous. But there's no going back now, we're only going deeper down this rabbit hole. Oh, we're in it now! So the next step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint this thing. I wanna go with brown, I like brown things. And then I was thinking, what if it's not just brown? What if it's also like a type of a camo and then... The silver with this thin brown is basically making it look gold, which, okay. Maybe this crossroads is a good time to take a, take a, take a, take a breather. Let's just, just take a moment. And shout out to Competitive Cyclist for sponsoring this week's video. Use offer code DUSTIN15 for 15% off your first order to competitivecyclist.com. I mean, maybe you need a new helmet that you want to paint because that's the place to get it. They got helmets, they got tires, they got tubes, they've got racks, they've got bikes. They don't have biscuits though. Inspired by my trusty camo reference book, I'm gonna draw some random patterns on this sheet of vinyl that I have. And I'll use this vinyl as a masking tool to create the pattern on the helmet. Then I'll just layer on a couple colors and what could possibly go wrong? If you care, you can screenshot this and it has the sequence of painting and which size stencils to place in between. Oh, and the vinyl, I got it off of Amazon. If I remember, I'll put a link for it down below. Next color, here we go. All right, this brown is looking really good. So next stage, a little beige brown. Huh, who doesn't like a little casual khaki? But first, more stencil dots. The reason I do that is to make the vinyl a little less tacky so that it comes off easier. I don't think it's even. Come on. I had to do something while the paint dried. One last color step to do with this. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blend a little bit of the greens. We'll do a little bit of light green and dark green because I feel like pushing the envelope. That's right. I'm a loner, daddy. A rebel. But first, more stencil dots. This is looking pretty cool. I am excited about it. Okay, so this is peeling off some of the paint below it, so I'm gonna try and use the heat gun to see if it relaxes the vinyl so it comes off just a little bit easier. Overall, I think this looks pretty good. We're gonna give it a bit of a distressed or weathered look. To create some distressing, we're gonna use some sandpaper. Kind of highlighted all the edges. I kind of wore down the color. The shape has a little bit more definition. I'm gonna use a little rub and buff to help bring out some of these little straw sort of details and just kind of make them look a little different. It really highlights things that has height. I'm gonna use a, a little bit of a black wash to give it just a little bit of like a dirty wash vibe in certain panels. It's very subtle. You can only see it just a little bit in certain places. So it doesn't take anything away. It just adds a little bit layer of detail. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this to the final stage, give it a little bit of clear coat. And then I think that's probably it. Then we can wear it out in the forest of Tatooine. Or was it Elderone? Or was it Mirkwood? Where were we riding this weekend? 
pro tip for when you're using aerosol in a cold space, just heat it up a little bit in some warm water and it will flow perfectly. It's so warm. As I'm looking at this thing, I'm thinking that it needs just one last touch of detail. I think I just want to fleck a little black on it and then I'm going to stop. I swear. I think the key to making this project work was a willingness to try something new while still doing a few things that were familiar. Okay, the next thing I wanna show you is how to take these skills and apply them to a frame. I mean, who doesn't want a camo bike? Yeah.